Hi, my name is Jen and welcome back to my channel. And you're probably clicking on this video going like, what is going on with Poshmark? Well, I'm going to break down every detail in this video of why I think that next Poshmark will start to charge for closets because it's getting crazy out here in these Poshmark streaks and I'm going to break it down for you. First, I would like to take us back to when they changed the algorithm, you know, when the whole fiasco with sales just stopped. Sales just stopped. And they never communicated to a seller what was going on. Um, we were trying to figure out the algorithm on our own. They did that fireside chat with us, which was a fiasco. Sellers were just angry and voicing their opinions very loudly and strong. I believe with all of that, Poshmark was doing a class A beta, beta testing and a class B. And they were separating us without even telling us that they were testing their algorithm and trying to improve the search but it wasn't working and Poshmark wasn't even listening. That's kind of the first red flag that I knew something is going on with Poshmark and we need to pay attention and we need to pay attention very closely. Second, <laughs> their whole Posh Fest that got canceled in Florida due to the COVID. I'm at the time they put it online. It was a disaster. These little red flags with any company, I tend to just really take a step back and pay attention to. Fast forward, <laughs> live selling. They kind of were announcing it to the people that were doing, that were going to the posh parties. I went to the one in San Diego and I already had access to posh lives. So it didn't really make a difference to me, but they were announcing it at these posh parties, you know, don't tell nobody, keep it on the down low, but we are gonna be doing um, live selling. I think the way that they announced their live selling was because of what not came onto the market when our closets were not making any money and whatnot came on and took all of their sell. Everyone in their mom was selling on whatnot and making extremely good money. Everyone, the heat wave of whatnot was like, everyone went over there and Poshmark felt it to the core. I don't care what they say, they felt it to the core. They felt their sales drop. So with that being said, Poshmark on the last minute announced their Posh Lives early before anyone else. They announced it and um, a big drum bopped, a big, bomb dropped what did I just say anyways it dropped and posh lives entered the scene and it was really good at first but it, it has fallen off I know a lot of people are blaming posh lives for slow sales that's not the truth there were no sales before posh lives if you don't want to do on posh lives you can still list but your sales are not dropping because of posh shows. It's literally because of the algorithm on Poshmark. That's why your sales are not where they are. And it's not what you're posting. It's how the algorithm is designed that they have re supposedly redone it. And this is where promoted closets come in. And this is where they're going to divide the community or, or on their way to. I believe, in my opinion, that they took their algorithm and destroyed it on purpose. And they're doing this promoted closets, if you guys don't know about it. Promoted closets is currently in beta. It's not out to everyone. I don't have access, nor do I want to participate in their beta um, program um, for this, because in my opinion, it's trash. And they are testing how if they can promote your closet now i hope people think that when this beta testing is out of beta they're going to charge for it i hope people think it's not going to be for free like you're going to have to pay to promote your closet on top of the 20 percent that we already pay which is nuts which is the highest cost commission on any platform that we have 20 percent so um I believe that they are testing this out. I believe that they have intentionally dropped their platform into trash so that they can roll out this new promoted closet feature. Well, if you're not getting any sales, just pay for the promoted closet and your sales will pick up. 
well, what about the sellers that cannot afford to pay for promoted um, closets? I can afford it, but I'm not going to pay for it because I'm not going to pay 20% and pay to promote my closet and pay for a bot. That's what I'm not going to do. That's what I'm not going to do. And I use Posture VA, which is a wonderful um, sharing service. And I, the money that I make every month on Poshmark pays for my Posture VA. So technically it's for free. And I've, and it's one of my highest grossing affiliate um, accounts that I have, I've had out of all of my affiliates that I make the most, the most commission from is Posture VA. So it technically pays for itself. So it's not a cost um, for me, but I'll be damned. I'll be damned if Poshmark is going to come up and and start telling us that we need to start paying with promoted closets so we can get better sales. And that's coming, guys. Now, I know people that have the promoted um, closets beta right now. They say it's awful. They say their sales have tanked. It is not helping them get more um, sales, which I expected because the economy is not doing really well right now. So mix that along with people just don't want to go online and buy right now. Sales are down on all platforms, including eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, whatnot, Posh Lives, Jamble, wherever you're selling, sales are in the toilet. But hear me out. On eBay, we pay for a store, right? We pay for a store and we can pay for promoted um, listings. Now that has been ingrated into eBay since the bit, since way back in time. And eBay is the OG in the game. They've been around for years. They have triple the amount of buyers than Poshmark will ever have. And if I'm ever going to pay to have my listings promoted, I'm gonna do it on eBay because I've actually sold things by having my items promoted on eBay. It's actually worked. And I can pick what items that I want to um, promote and eBay is just a bigger, bigger platform. I currently have really am starting to question Posh Poshmark's values because Poshmark back in the day was a platform where they wanted to make it easier for moms, single moms to, to make money at home, to list. They were a good company. Poshmark is now turning into profit and greed and that's all that they want. They want to make more and more money because now they are an open um, company. They are now in the stock market. They have shareholders to keep them accountable and um, they need to make more money and sales are down. So I think this is their sneaky way that they're trying to recoup um, their money that they, I think, want to make to make their shareholders happy. And also when they announced Poshfest, or actually the day after um, Poshfest was over, they sold the company. The company was sold to a whole nother company, which I thought that this company was gonna come in and really um, tell Poshmark, like, what are you doing? Like, kind of put them in their place. But I think this company has come in and they just want more money and their greed. It just, it's just greed, it's just playing off greed. I think that people are very happy. Like some people are like, oh my God, Promona Closet is wonderful. So we can pay to have our listings, you know, up in the algorithm. It's like, are are you not getting the picture? If we're going to pay for promoted closets next, we're going to pay to have a closet on Poshmark because they're going to make it acceptable to start charging for every little thing. They're not going to stop with just the promoted um, closets. Next, it'll be, oh, you have to pay to list your, to have a closet on Poshmark. We'll, we'll have a three-tier program. We'll have uh, people that are not ambassadors or people that are. And you'll have to pay per what classification you are. Because that's what I believe is, is coming next. And people need to wake up. People really need to wake up to how Poshmark is treating their sellers. Out of all of the platform ads, I don't think there's not one platform out there that's perfect and has everything, all their shit together. All these platforms have their ups and downs, positive and negatives. But I was such a huge supporter of Poshmark. It was the first platform that I really enjoyed to list on. It was free to list. 
it was easy and sales were not very hard. I remember back in 2019 when I was making two to three thousand dollars a month on Poshmark without any effort with a closet of 300 listings. Now that's gone. That's like uh, that's not even realistic now, and it's 2022 and um. It's 2023. I feel like it's 2022 because I think in 2022 was the last year that I actually made money on Poshmark. I haven't made money or a decent month on Poshmark in probably the last two years. It's been really bad. I really hope that this video kind of makes you think outside the box and kind of makes you realize where Poshmark is going with their business they're gonna start charging and expect more charges to come and expect it to be more costly to sell on this platform. I have already pulled off all of my listings off of Poshmark and I have listed about 10 jackets. So I pulled off all 600 um, listings and I've gone down to like 10 jackets and I'm doing Posh shows starting at $3 starts. Um, because I just kind of want to distance myself and reevaluate where I stand with Poshmark. So I'm going to be doing a whole video on my analytics with Poshmark, what my plans are with them and what I'm going to be doing. But I just really wanted to make this um, video about promoted um, closets and really hope that you guys realize that it's not a good idea and it is a gateway to charging for more, for more and more and more stuff. I know Poshfest has not been announced yet. Um, most likely for Poshfest, since I've never been to not one on Poshfest, I will be I will be um, going to Poshfest to meet my friends and to meet um, and to meet um, um, them and to really hang out with them because I really want to meet some of my posh my posh you know coworkers. That's what I call them, and so. Probably after going to the next Posh Fest, I won't go anymore, but I do want to at least experience one and really see Poshmark again to really see if maybe this is just a bad time for them. Have they really changed to be so corporate and greedy or, or is or are they just, I don't know what's going on with them. They're not communicating with their sellers. So maybe if they communicated better, maybe I could, you know, know what is going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you click a thumbs up, I'll be greatly appreciated. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you guys think that they'll start charging for closets. I really would like to know your opinion down in the comments. Thanks, bye.